everybody. Uh, this is Mrs. Burke. I'm your Team 8-5 science teacher. In your Let's talk about the videos. So the videos replace all the teacher lectures, and this gives us more time in class together and allows me to be available for you every day. So instead of me getting trapped up at the front of the room to lecture, I'm more available for all the classroom activities. So you're going to watch the videos instead of me doing like a 45 minute lecture, which I traditionally would have done a lot in eighth grade. And this also allows you to move at your own pace. So you don't have to wait for any new instruction. Once you finish something, you can then watch the new video and then go ahead and do the lab or the project that whatever goes with it. In class, we talked about task charts. Uh, this is what's going to keep track of what you have to do. Uh, please make sure to go in order, although say a lab isn't available and you want to skip ahead, just come see me. I'll let you know if that's okay to do or not. I'd really like you to try to do the videos at home. I think you'll have a much better um, time doing them there, and I think you'll be more focused. You will get a new task chart for each unit, and friendly reminder that Unit 1 is due Friday, September 18th. And remember, check the calendar on the back of the unit to see if you are on track, either if you are ahead of schedule or if you're behind schedule. So here's some advice from my last year's eighth graders. Actually, this was two years ago. The classroom is when Ms. Burke gives you videos and you, and you watch them at home and the videos are about like what you would learn in class. So like instead of learning in class, you learn at home and like what you would have for homework you do during class so that Ms. Burke can help. Well, okay, so all, everything that you learn is on the video, so if you ever forgot something or need to go back and, like, retake notes, they're all on SchoolTube or YouTube, so you can always go back. All right, good thing about that, Jessica. Um, when, like, you were writing, like, writing your notes, you could pause it so it doesn't go too fast or too slow. I like taking the videos home, being able to do them at home on my time, and not having to do them in class and whenever I needed to do them I could stop the video, go do something and come back. And instead of having lectures in class you pretty much just do those and they're a, they're a lot of fun and they're wicked easy. Um, also never understood anything a teacher said if they said it out loud but since ever since the classroom got started I've, I've understood it quite a bit. So how do you watch a video? And when you were watching an educational video like this one, you have to remember this isn't for entertainment. Although I'll bring in a lot of guest speakers. I'll even bring in my horses and the dog and the cat and I'll bring in everybody. But remember, you're doing this to learn something. What you're gonna be is I want you to follow the fit way of watching. Now that doesn't mean I want you to pump iron or anything like that. FIT all stands for different things. So the first one is F is for focused. I need you to bring a serious attitude. I want you to watch for learning and not for entertainment. Remember, that's two very different things. I means you're involved in the process. If you just sit back and you're very passive, you're going to learn maybe 10%. That's what the research tells us. I want you to take notes. I want you to think. I want you to ask questions. If you do all that, the research tells me you'll remember 90% or better. T, take away distractions. So I want you to close all the other tabs on your computer. So that means the six other things that you have open in the background, get rid of them. I want you to put all your electronics away. So your Xbox off, cell phone off. Uh, if you want your headphones on because I want you completely focused on what you're doing. All right, so here is a summary of the video that we talked about that flip learning is very different than the traditional. Remember, everybody's gonna move at their own pace. Ideally, I'd like you to do those videos at, the, um, at home versus in the class. But if you get up to them in class, that's okay too. Remember, this is for educational, not entertainment, right? So you need to be very active, not passive when you're watching them. And remember the fit way of watching videos. Thank you for watching this, and I will see you guys in class or in a minute.